Administrative tasks, no one likes to do them. They start small, but they build. Also, do they really add anything additional in terms of value? People's time is far too important to do the same thing over and over. And with modern software, you shouldn't be hamstrung anymore. One of the main tasks when building up any recruitment desk is to search for, interpret and process CVs or profiles or application forms. The longer this takes, the less time you have for doing the core job, which is speaking to candidates and clients. So the idea from our side was to say, if as a user, I absolutely have to parse a CV, what else can it do for me to make the most of every single second of my time? A CV is potentially a, a really valuable piece of data to have. It can tell us a lot, not only about that individual, but give us some clues as to market trends, specific companies, and all of this stuff is gold dust to me as a recruiter if I'm looking to build a desk out. Using Access Workspace and Recruitment CRM, I can easily get the CV files in, no matter the format. From here, without me having to do anything else, on top of all the basic stuff that you would expect, it can also paint a picture of the companies this person has worked for, with the how, the what, the why, the when of their career, and then also tell me empirically the metrics of this person's work history. This is all captured when I do that first parse, and I can just review and sanity check. If we're going to get a, a bit more granular now, the parser itself can now build a glossary of terms around that individual CV. It can tell me where it needs formatting, where it's missing information. It can even see if the person has a driving license or a visa, and then also tell me if there's any other former colleagues in our database that we should know about. It's this sort of added value that we're really trying to bring to the fore in Access Recruitment CRM. A CRM that does the hard work for you. Leave the CV parsing to us so you can focus on what you do best. Thank you.